Hey guys, how you doing and welcome back. Well, Kronos fam, I have a message for you. I want to talk about the current state of the Kronos chain. I want to talk about Tectonic, VVS Finance and MMF Finance, just to say a few ones from all the entire protocols. These three have been covering the most, so I have the most knowledge and experience on them. Take a look at this. I've been talking about Kronos Chain, specifically BVS Finance for a long time. Then I jumped to Tectonic and then ultimately I stay with MMF. And I've been covering this three for, you know, a couple of months. And I understand when I started doing this, it was during a really hype beginning season for Kronos. I mean, the end of 2021, beginning of 2022, really a nice flourish momentum for all the community to come to DeFi, right? But one thing that most of us didn't calculate in our math was a bear market in between, which now we are seeing how devastating the consequences can be for investors like us who put our liquidity, our hard earned money here, and we see the results. Now, I want to tell you guys my honest view on what's happening because I also collected your feedback, which is this. And I've already shown you enough charts. So in this one, it's going to be more of a conversation between you and me. And I want to just be very transparent to tell you that first and foremost, I'm not receiving any money from all any of these projects, right? These three that I'm showing you right here. But it's because I really took a long time to come to DeFi just to tell you, right? I really didn't do liquidity pools stake um yield farming for a really long time and i was hearing about that ever since the beginning of beginning of 2021 but it was more on uniswap sushi swap ethereum base and i wanted and i waited and i waited till i found chronos and if you go back to those early vvs videos i i mentioned how it was my first time in yield farming and i was very excited so i waited for a good opportunity and that's when i found vvs and so on i carry on and i just really started opening up to what was the protocols and DeFi decentralized finance now yes i understand how devastating down collapsing and crashing the prices of all of these three are just to tell you something all of my positions on DVS, Tectonic, and MMF are down. I'm not really gaining much. I'm down. Here the question is, well, Oscar, what are you going to do, right? Are you going to keep buying? Are you going to sell? I understand. No worries. But first, going back to this, Tectonic, MMF, and VVS Finance will, I asked a couple hours ago, and if I refresh, I'm going to get the latest results on this. So what we're seeing, and I wanted just to capture what my community wanted to say with 600 votes, more than 50% understand a long-term view for Kronos, not only for Kronos, for the top five, top three projects in the chain, some 30%, which I consider to be a substantial amount, say die and never come back. I respect your opinion. And 15%, I don't know. I need more info, hence why I'm making this video just for you, everybody. So don't forget to smash the like button, everybody. Consider subscribing to the channel and turn on those notification bells. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Welcome back. Take a look at the links down below, the whole deal, support the channel and ask all the questions. Now, first thing that comes to my mind is, wow, when it comes to the TVL, you and I know how we wear couple months ago, five, around 5 billion. And what is looking Kronos right now? Close to less than 1 billion, which is right about here. But if you take a look at what came all the way from the upside, Ethereum, super down, looking at 54, according to DeFi Lama, the latest numbers. Terra Luna, of course, is no longer here because we know why. And other different projects collapsing, right? So it is happening to everybody, which I understand and it's great because it's not only Kronos. So that being said, why are we here and are we going to come back? Well, first and foremost, guys, I came, I'm, I'm making peace with all my predictions, right? And I'm saying, you know what? I'm not going to rush this and I'm going to wait till easy 2022. 2022 for DeFi and Kronos dApps, these ones, is cooked. I'm not going to say we're going to be, of course, passing a trillion dollars or whatever crazy amount. No, it's cooked. I'm taking 2022 as it's over for prices. Just let it take its time. Let it take its time. 
I find really refreshing how people have price predictions or mentalities as I'm going to hold Bitcoin for five, 10 years. I'm going to hold ADA for five to 10 years, Crow for five to 10 years. That is so amazing. If you don't have that mentality, I encourage you to have it because all these dApps, BBS, Tectonic, MMF, and Dark Crypto, and many of the other ones, the three that I mentioned, right, are the ones that I've done my most research. And in my opinion, I consider to be the most robust ones in the entire, in this chain. Of course, they're not perfect. And of course, I'm not saying that they will never collapse or leave us. I believe, as I've said before, this bear market, it's an amazing opportunity to test them, to see if they, what they're made of, to see if they're going to really survive. Because if they are and if they will, then we have a much bigger picture forward saying, OK, assuming 2022 is cooked, I'm not going to rush it, whatever it is, a Bitcoin takes forever to come out of the 20,000 to the 30s, it's fine. Definitely DeFi won't come much higher anytime soon. So for people who believe in the project long term, what an amazing time. We may not have the best price jet to buy, but I can tell you from all the different TA, this is not a bad time to buy the dip. I'm just going to say that, right? You do what's best for your money. This is not financial advice, but that's one thing I'm going to tell you guys. I believe in this Kronos projects. What are the news? Here are the news. Here's why I feel and I think we're going to come back to the other side. And I'm not promoting any ape thing, whatever, right? What I'm saying is this. 100 million Kronos invested for the accelerator. 2022 November World Cup sponsor. And all the things that I've heard at the Consensus 2022 conference in Austin, Texas. Crypto.com massive push to become the number one cryptocurrency exchange, right? In many different countries. And what Kronos is doing currently as they continue increasing dApps and as they want to be in the top five in 2022, by 2022. Bear markets never really help. Inflation never really helps. And a war in a different part of the world really never really helps to have those green candles and to see those amazing prices. But what I think it helps is all the development and all the communication and all the transparency and just being vocal and clear what the clear what message is. And in my opinion, I'm at peace. I have enough money and the money I'm willing to lose in such three projects that I mentioned, Tectonic, VBS and MMF. And whatever money I have, should you sh shouldn't matter to you and whatever money you have shouldn't matter to me it's your money you do whatever you want so enjoy this time and to all the 50 percent of people who say we'll come back i think you get it you're gonna wait with me for a long time but it's fine we're gonna enjoy this right for the 30 percent of people who say it's over i understand you may you may have come here for something quicker I understand, but guess what? Bear markets don't really help that way. And for the 15%, I hope this is much clearer to you. We are in a situation where we're going to be consolidated at a bottom price for a while. So just relax and take a look at other projects. And of course, Bitcoin is, should be our number one choice. And after that, the rest. In a bear market, altcoins remain really risky. Bitcoin remains king. Thank you very much for watching, Kronos fam. I hope you enjoyed this one. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments what you think. This is just a message I wanted to give you guys, completely transparent. I'm going to keep making videos on this three. I'm going to keep buying this three. I'm going to keep holding this three because I believe them long term. We're passing through a period, but once we come back, baby, I cannot put into words how much the development and the money is being invested right now that I saw in Austin. It's going to be huge next bull season on this street and the Kronos ecosystem will be awesome. Catch you later, everybody. Peace.